Hello, I'm Kev at Rimmer's Music. Today I'm going to show you this great little uh, practice amp. Not just a practice amp, you could use this essentially for any live gig as it's got this emulated out here. So you go out of that uh, into a big rig, a big PA system, even a stack. You could essentially play a festival and arena with this little great little amp here. It's the Blackstar ID Core Stereo 20, it's the version 3. Uh, so there are there are other other wattage other versions so you can get a 10 watt 20 watt as a 40 watt 100 watt uh, and the stereo means they've got two speakers in there so this has got two 10 watt speakers the stereo really comes into its own on uh, the delays and the reverbs they are really really wide uh, we'll come to them in a moment though so I'm just going to run you through uh, all this section here. So it basically goes from uh, clean right up to overdrive. You've got two overdrives. So you've got two cleans, two crunch, two overdrives. Uh, the guitar I'm using to demonstrate this amp is uh, RS320. It's a Yamaha Revstar. Uh, just so you know, I'll keep it on the uh, bridge uh, pickup all the way through this, this demonstration. All right, so I won't go into too much detail, but I'll, I'll run you through this amp and show you all, all the things it can do, uh, and just how great it sounds. All right, so we're on, just put it on manual there. So manual means you can use it, uh, you, can, you can put any settings in that you want. If manual's off, you've got suggested settings so you can see this reverb delay modulation and as you go through the different uh, overdrives and distortions these all change so that's the kind of black star give you some suggestions really for for them different sounds but for the purpose of this demo we'll leave it on manual all right so first of all we've got clean warm <laughs> see the gains up just a little bit there so I'm just gonna keep the gain in the center for this all right so that's clean warm clean bright um, crunch Super Crunch, which is my personal favourite. Overdrive 1. And Overdrive 2. So, for example, if we just put that on Overdrive 1, and I turn the gain right up, you're going to get a heavy sound. Can you hear the feedback there? So you can get your heavier tones, no problem whatsoever. Just increase the gain. Now that what I've just done there, that applies to every single one of these settings. So you, you could even have it on clean warm, have your gain up and you'll get a slight bit of overdrive. So you can kind of get your 60s tones from that. That kind of thing. Alright, so we'll pop that back there. We'll keep it on clean bright and what I'm going to do now is show you the effects. Alright, so you've got reverb, delay and modulation and you've got four of each. Okay, so first of all, reverb, you've got a level as well. So this level here determines how much reverb, how much delay, how much modulation you've got. You've got. So I'll keep that quite on full for, for the purpose of the demo. Okay. <laughs> 
So that first one is a room reverb. <laughs> Two. That's a Paul reverb. All right, and then this is a spring reverb. one is the biggest of the lot and we'll put them both on full Huge reverb. Obviously, you don't have to have it on that. You can have as little or as much as you like. So, we'll turn the reverbs off and I'll show you the delays. So, again, I'll have it quite high on the level. Now, you can tap these. The tap's going quite fast there, so I'll just slow that down. So, if you tap two or three times in time with the song that you're, you're about to play, uh, your delays will be in time with it. Okay, that's a bit slower that. The next one. And then the last one. So we'll put that on full and then the level on full as well. It'll go on for a very long time. time I've never actually sat <laughs> sat down and waited to hear if it ever finishes but I don't think it does that literally will go on forever so great for the end of a song or you know you're just messing with the, the frequencies uh, fantastic so next we'll take the delay off and we'll go on to modulation so we've got choruses flanger automatic wah and tremolo so we'll just <laughs> The tap kind of uh, breathing there, so you can have this quite fast or quite slow. I like this quite slow and the level down. Here. All right, so nice chorus there. We've got a flanger. Have it really fast. Not my 
my preferred tone, but I'm sure <laughs> somebody somewhere will, use, will get some use for it. Uh, I like that, but I like it really, really slow. <laughs> Okay, so next, I think this is the automatic warp. Very nice indeed. Then the last one is a uh, Tranlo. So you can see level there absolutely on full it's on 10 it won't go any further and what tremolo does is it pushes the, the volume up and down and you can control that how much you've got by that and then how fast or how slow you want it with the tap so if it's on full it's going to cut out the volume completely <laughs> That was uh, a song called uh, The Rumble by Link Ray, I think it was 50, uh, 50, 58, something like that. You probably recognise it from Pulp Fiction, I think it is. Anyway, right, back onto this. So, I've run through each one of them uh, uh, effects, so your reverbs, your delays, your modulation, separately. Now, you can blend them all together, and I'll show you how to do that now. So, let's choose a reverb quite like that third one, so let's push volume up, bit less, bit more, right spot on, love that, absolutely perfect. So I'm going to the delay now, now you see the red light on the reverb, that means that's set, you've just set that, or I've just set that, that is how it's going to stay. So we're on delays now. So let's, I want a fast delay, let's get on, maybe not that fast, perfect, and then we'll have a touch of modulation, so a little bit of chorus. Okay, and then I'll put it onto my favourite setting on here, Super Crunch. Fantastic. So, like I say, you can blend any any three of them together. You can set, and you can also save them into banks as well. Uh, so, we'll just take that modulation off and the delay. Keep that on reverb. Now, I like a little bit again. Uh, and I'll just play you a riff so you get an idea of really how, how great this sounds. Okay. <laughs> Lovely 
lovely stuff. Just one more thing to show you. All right, so this, this button here, it says uh, EQ, uh, ISF. Right, so what does ISSF stand for? It's on all Black Star amps, it's patented to Black Star. Uh, it stands for Infinite Shape Feature. Now, when it's on the right hand side here, you get uh, the uh, kind of British sounding amps are like Marshalls, Voxes, that kind of thing. A bit of a, a bit of a muddiness to the sound, okay? And when it's all the way over to the left, that's your Americans. Uh, amps or your messes, that kind of thing. Very tony, uh, bright. Uh, I like, oh, well, I'll tell you what I like in a minute, but I'll just give you a demo of that. So it's all the way to the right, so this is British. <laughs> okay, move it all the way to the left. This is American. <laughs> get the idea of, uh, of the, the EQ range, you can get basically any tone you want, you really can, by mixing that, uh, these, these settings here, so the, the crunch, the overdrive, the cleans, uh, and again, I like it about the, so more leaning towards the American, but with that bit, bit of British. <laughs> So, what else have we got? We've, there's a built-in tuner as well. Uh, you've got a, a foot switch which is optional. You can buy that. It doesn't come with one, but you can buy a foot switch so you can go between your different effects and your different uh, distortions and cleans. Uh, it comes with software. The so I mean, I could talk about the software in a, a complete separate demo. It's absolutely brilliant. It really is. You can do all sorts. You can record yourself make your own tunes, you can uh, upload songs, say you want to learn a song and you're struggling with a certain part, you can edit that certain part out, slow it right down, it won't change the pitch and you can really get to grips with them notes that you're struggling with and then slowly speed it up. Uh, yeah, so it's a great amp, it really is, for a little practice amp, uh, it's up there with the best, if not the best. So yeah, uh, the link to buy this this uh, amp will be in the bio for this video, and also check us out rimmersmusic.co.uk. Uh, I've been Kev. Yeah, thanks for listening, and I'll see you again soon. All right, cheers.